We finally have detailed system requirements for Cyberpunk 2077, except they are missing one important detail. But at least they showed us ray tracing, awesome technology that, I don't know, less than 1% of the players will be able to enjoy? I mean, that's important. And yes, it's a Project Red, I have to admit, it's a good joke. Just good one. By the way, if you own any edition of Cyberpunk 2077 on any platform, you can connect your game to GOG.com, I call it GOG, but I'm not quite sure whether it's correct, and you will receive some in-game rewards. They are pretty cool looking Witcher style, but why would anyone care how T-Shirt looks in a game with a first-person view, I have no idea. Anyway, just letting you know. Now let's take a closer look on the system requirements. First of all, I have to say, they haven't said anything about FPS yet. They've been asked in Twitter many times, but gave no reply yet. I hope that they just learned the lesson and don't want to give us any misleading information. First of all, minimum system requirements. They say that on full HD resolution with low graphical settings, the game will run on GTX 780 with 3GB of video RAM. And at this point, I'm pretty sure that we're not talking about stable 60 FPS. I doubt whether the game will work smoothly on a computer like that at all, even with lower graphical settings, especially knowing about the problems that they have with optimization on the oldest previous gen consoles, PS4 and Xbox One. Not Xbox One X, Xbox One. Anyway, if you own some weak PC, I don't suggest you to pre-order the game just yet. Wait until release and until the time when there will be some tests available. Next recommended, the most interesting. So for the Full HD with high graphical settings, it recommends Intel Core i7 4790 with graphics card GTX 1060 6GB or GTX 1660 Super. Ok, maybe, but I have almost similar PC and in Red Dead Redemption 2 it runs not even with 60 but let's say with average unstable 57 FPS only on medium to high settings. Mostly medium. So are they really talking about stable 60 FPS here? I'm not quite sure. But what if you want to play in 4K with ultra settings? Well, they say that you will need some not the most expensive processor, but you will have to have RTX 2080S or RTX 3070. If you want to play with ray tracing, well, in Full HD you will need to have RTX 2060 and on the higher resolution you will need one of the new generation RTX graphical cards. And of course for ray tracing you will have to use only graphics card from Nvidia. And by the way, gameplay with ray tracing looks really gorgeous, whether it's gonna be stable who knows. Overall, if all these system requirements are for 60 FPS, I will say that game has an extremely good optimization. Anyway, please let me know in the comments what do you think about these system requirements and whether your PC matches at least recommended system requirements. And as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. До свидания.